So I'm sure most of you are aware that the PS Vita 3.71 update came out yesterday. Basically what this means is if you're on the 3.71 you won't be able to do the Trinity exploit. So for the people that have still got their PS Vita on 3.70 um, you actually want to do some steps just to make sure you're blocking the future firmware updates um, so you can jailbreak it on 3.70. Obviously you do not want to update 3.71. Well, unless you're just stuck an average user, but I'm pretty sure everyone that uses the PS Vita wants to have custom firmware on it by now. So yeah, I will be showing you guys how to do that. I will be showing you guys how to do it um, as if I was on 3.70. I'm actually on 3.68, and um, I've got something called the firmware blocker. I don't know if I've got it installed on here. Let me just have a look. Have I even got it? Oh yeah, I do. It's update blocker. So I've made a video on this update blocker um, maybe like six months ago or something. I will link the video on my channel, but basically you can like block all updates. So if you press the cross button, block all system updates. I've already done it. Um, circle to unblock, um, square to block update downloads, and then triangle to unblock. So yeah, what I did was I pressed cross and square last time, and I was able to block all these types of downloads. So I can close out of that. But I have a video on how to get this and how to use it on my channel already. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description. This is basically for anyone on any custom firmware. Anyway, so let's say you're on 3.70 and you don't have any custom firmware at all. The first thing you want to do is you want to go up to the PS Vita system settings. You want to go ahead and open this up right now. What we actually need to do is we need to go to our network and we need to enter in a custom DNS address which basically blocks these updates. So we're going to go into network, we're going to press X on this, we're going to go to Wi-Fi settings and we're going to go and press X on this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to select our Wi-Fi router. So this is mine right here. Uh, BT Hub 5. So I'm just going to press X on this one. This is the one I'm currently connected to. So make sure it has that little green icon next to it. But just press X on it. Scroll down, press X on advanced settings. And from here we want to scroll down to where it says DNS settings. Now we're going to press X on this and we want to swap it over to manual. Normally it's on automatic. Change it over to manual. And you're going to notice it brings out two new boxes. So we've got primary DNS. We want to press X on this. And you guys want to enter in the following IP address. So I'm just going to type it in now and um, once I've typed it in you guys can just pause the video, copy it down and um, it should it's exactly the same for everyone. Okay so there it is 212.47.229 dot 76 once you've got that in you need to just tap on this green arrow here and um, now you can just press circle so where it says secondary dns you want to make sure that that is left blank and um, yeah everything else proxy server make sure that's um, set as do not use and um, yeah that's pretty much it so now we can tap on ok and we're now back it should connect as you can see it's going to be flashing green a bit um, but it should go green um, any second now and we should actually just be able to connect to the Wi-Fi. There you go, gone green, working perfectly fine. We can now close, go all the way back. Um, also, if you're on custom firmware and you can go into Henkaku settings, we can now spoof the version to 3.71. So there you go, tap the green arrow, circle to go back, and we now spoofed it. Obviously, that's only for custom firmware. I just wanted to show you guys that quickly. And um, there you go, we can now um, press the home button, close out of this, and we should be able to open up the store. So if you wanted to get a PSP app to install the jailbreak, you would be able to do it um, you know, as you would normally. So let me just show you, I can open up the PSN store. It's going to say please wait, um, but it should actually open up fine. And there you go, didn't download anything. Um, I think my update blocker is running, but it should work like that for you anyway. Uh, there's one more thing we need to do in the system settings before I forget. So we're just going to go over to the system settings. We're going to go ahead and start this up. Now this one's a bit different, we need to scroll down, we need to go to system this one right here that like square icon so go onto system and we're looking for auto start settings now there is a setting called download update files what this does is downloads the update file so you can install it obviously we do not want the 3.71 update file so make sure that is unticked so that does not end up downloading um, it's just going to waste space if we don't lose it if we don't use it anyway and there you go, that is pretty much it. Make sure this one is unticked. Do not tick that box. And I think 
that is pretty much it you can leave that unticked as well update online status don't really need that ticked and that is pretty much it we're now protected on a previous custom well we're now protected on a previous firmware or custom firmware so it doesn't really matter um, as I said I can show you my firmware I'm actually on 3.68 I have got Hencoin installed I did not get a permanent version because I'm not on 3.65. Uh, if I go into system, system information, you guys can see right there, uh, 3.68 with the two Chinese symbols. I don't know what that says, but um, yeah, I'm not on the like, um, you know, I'm not on the 3.65 permanent version. And um, there you go. So that is pretty much it. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go onto my computer and I just want to show you guys a few things on there. So here was my update blocker video that I was talking about. I will leave a link to this in the description if you want to check it out. It's a pretty good piece of software um, if you're already running some custom firmware. And here was the other thing I wanted to show you guys. So I've had actually a few emails. I do read sometimes. I do read some emails. My email address is trashed. It's got so much spam in there. But anyway, right here it says usually previous firmwares can still get into the PSN um, store for a short while after the next one is released. Don't want to get your hopes up, but there are still things you can try. If your Vita isn't already linked to a PSN account, boot to safe mode and perform a restore. You should be able to fill in the account details without updating at this point. Next, run through this. Now, what this is, is what we've already done. This is just like the blocking updates thing. It's just like a mini guide on how to do it. We've already done that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, check the blue notification door at the top right of your Vita's menu for any updates. Um, cancel them. That is a very good point. So make sure to check the door. And if they are downloading, you can just cancel it. Um, see if you can access the store. If it still wants to update, reboot and try again. Uh, there's some chance you'll get through within half a dozen restarts. Whatever you do, do not install 3.71. There's an unreleased exploit for 3.70 which does not require PSN access, but it's too early to say whether it'll work with the later firmware. That is true, and um, yeah, so I'm kind of curious to see what this unreleased exploit for 3.70 is, or when it will actually come out. But um, it seems to have worked. People said thank you, I was panicking, and um, it worked. Great news, I was able to set my DNS server. So yeah, there you go. Make sure to check out... Um, well, make sure to give this video a try. Try it on your PS Vita. If you have custom firmware, if you don't have custom firmware, enter in that custom DNS server. Make sure to enable, like, um, you know, so it doesn't auto-download the um, firmware. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.